I'm working with Red Heart Stellar Yarn. And it's very bulky yarn, but it's also very lightweight. And I'm using a 9mm crochet hook. So first you make the turtleneck, and it's just rows of double crochet. And then we'll add, and then we'll add the bottom section, and that's just V-stitches. So let's get started. Start with a slip knot, and I chained 16. So after you have your 16 foundation chain, you're going to double crochet in the third stitch from the hook. So one, two, three, double crochet. And double crochet in each stitch all the way across the row. And that is going to be this turtleneck, and it's going to roll down. Like that, so you'll work until you have the neck section done, and you can join it together to form a tube, or you can sew it together when you're finished. And then we're going to start working along the bottom of these rows of stitches. Okay, so I just have this small section to show you, and it's worked sideways, so this would be like this. This would be the way the collar would look, and down here, I'm going to work along the bottom. So when you're working this bottom section, you'll be working into the sides of the double crochets. So I'm just going to slip stitch into this one to get started, and I'm going to chain three. One, two, three, and I'll make one double crochet in this stitch. In every second side of the double crochets, you'll make two V stitches. So that it will be double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, so there's one V stitch, but I'm going to make another V stitch in that same side of the double crochet. So double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. So you'll make one V-stitch, and then you'll make two. So there'll be one V-stitch here, and two V-stitches there. So one V-stitch, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and then two V-stitches in the next stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and another V-stitch in that same stitch. And you'll work that way all the way around, and that will increase the size. And on my cowl, I only work two rows. So when you get to the end of the row, you'll just slip stitch into a chain one space and just continue all the way around again. And that's how easy it is to crochet this easy cowl. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.